Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see about the substitution theorem. According to this theorem, the statement is the voltage across or current through any branch of a DC bilateral network being known, this branch can be replaced by any combination of elements that will make the same voltage across and the current through the chosen branch. So we will see this statement by an example. See here a here a simple circuit is given with a 24 voltage uh, source and 3 ohm branch and 5 ohm branch is connected at the terminal X and Y. So if we calculate the current uh, in the network uh, that is 24 by 8 therefore current value is 3 amperes. So the current in the loop is calculated as 3 amperes. Now the equivalence of XY branch of 5 ohm resistance either an equivalent voltage or current source is shown here that means since uh, we are calculated the current in this branch therefore we can uh, we can calculate uh, the voltage across this x y terminals that is 5 into 3 that is 15 volts or the current in the 5 ohm branch is 3 amperes now we can represent this x y terminals either in terms of voltage source or in terms of current source uh, with the magnitudes of 15 volts and 3 amperes respectively therefore the same here we are mentioned here since the voltage across the terminals xy is known for us that is 15 volts therefore the same here mentioned the the 5 ohm resistance can be replaced with a voltage source of 15 volts magnitude or we can also replace uh, the 5 ohms resistance with uh, 7.5 volts connected with 2.5 ohm branch and remaining the current is flowing in here is 3 amperes and that is the same therefore 3 into 2.5 is a 7.5 volts plus 7.5 volts so, so total voltage across the terminals xy is a 15 volts that means so what is the meaning of this means we can replace the xy terminals that means we can replace the uh, 5 ohm resistance completely with a voltage source of 15 volts or partly uh, with uh, 7.5 volts and the remaining uh, voltage can be represented across the uh, resistance that is 2.5 oh, 2.5 ohms uh, as shown in the figures so th this is a two ways of representation of uh, voltage source at the, at the terminals xy now if you replace uh, the 5 ohm resistance with in terms of current source we will see here so at the terminals xy we can represent uh, directly with the current source of uh, 3 amperes and the voltage in the xy terminals is 15 volts it is unchanged that is the representation of the uh, current source here with a magnitude of 3 amperes so since from the given network the current flowing in the 5 ohm is uh, 3 amperes therefore uh, removing this 5 ohm resistance with a 3 amperes volt, uh, current source here as shown in the figure or uh, if you want to represent the current source with a magnitude of resistance here so we can uh, we know that the current in the xy branch is 3 amps so we can represent this with a parallel circuit so that means we know that the current source with a parallel resistance we are representing generally similarly voltage source with a series impedance we are showing so that's why this is a representation of voltage source with series impedance series impedance or resistance this is a representation of current source with a parallel uh, resistance so here this is nothing but a current source of magnitude 2 amperes uh, the remaining 1 ampere can be represented with a uh, 15 ohm resistance branch so now here the voltage between x and y is 15 volts therefore 15 by 15 nothing but 1 ampere therefore the total current is 3 amperes that means the entire compensation the entire substitution theorem can be represented as uh, ideal sources or uh, practical sources uh, we are showing here so uh, these, these two are the representation of ideal sources uh, and these two are nothing but representation of the uh, practical sources here with uh, uh, resistance connected in series with for voltage source for parallel with the current source uh, as shown in the figure let us do by an example here so see, uh, show that the branch equivalence by substitution theorem so this is a given network uh, so uh, after simplifying this uh, network at the terminals x y and x z so the x y branch can be represented as a v x y and uh, i z we are representing with the current source of i x z so after calculating the voltage v x y so we are getting the voltage as 3.75 and i x z current source we are getting as 0 0.3125 Therefore, the branch equivalence in terms of voltage source is given as Vxy 
connected with the remaining elements similarly the current equivalence can be represented as uh, x to z current is flowing from x to z therefore 0.3125 with the uh, 6 ohm resistance as shown in the figure is representation of the uh, voltage and current sources from the given network thank you